everybody. Welcome to the 3A Podcast Show. I'm Jerks. And today, live from, live from everybody's house because everybody's got the Corona. Woo! Corona from cor- quarantine. Corona's going to come out and rape self, me. Self-quarantine. Self-quarantine through okay. a podcast episode today. Episode number 30 is going to be a fun one. Uh, first of all, I just want to say March, what was it? March 11th will be like a day that will live in infamy. In Fucking so much shit happened this week. And literally and not in good one things. day. Not good things. And it not wasn't even on all. like Friday the 13th. It was like March 11th, middle of the week. What the fuck? Anyways, uh, let's jump into it. We're going to start off with gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Game over. Game Sorry. over. Game all right. Well, Call of Duty Modern Warfare releases his BR. Long rumored, uh, leaked a long time ago. PC nerds are all over it. Uh, Warzone is out. Have you guys tried it out? What do you think? No, I have not tried it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's free I, to play. Everybody can play for free. Man, I've been so worried about other shit. Going grocery shopping, trying to make sure that I get toilet paper and shit like that. <laughs> what? Yeah, what is that about? Why? Why the toilet paper? I have no idea. Look, I, I think it started off. Too. I think it started off as a meme, but all of a sudden it's like, yeah, we got to get all this toilet paper. Bro, right? on Thursday, literally, uh, <laughs> I went and I went to H E B, to Kroger's, and to Randall's. And I literally found toilet paper at CVS, and like I had to almost fight in that motherfucker for that toilet paper. And it was only like a 15 roll or a 14 roll, whatever the fuck. I got um, some toilet paper. I need some. So you know, honestly, guys, fifty dollars a so pop. Sorry. I got you. God damn. Uh, <laughs> but I, anyways, I we can talk about that in pop. Uh, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Warzone. It's out. I've been playing it. It's okay. It's not the best BR. It does remind me a lot of other BRs. I do have a video about it, an impressions video on my personal YouTube channel, JRX4. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, um, it's free to play. It's cross play. Anybody can play it. Uh, PC, Xbox, uh, PS4. Mm, I really see, don't see this as any way as a loss for them. This is going to be a good thing for them. Uh, first time they're ever doing a model where it's a free to play type of thing. Um, I think well, they're going to be winning. They're going to be winning gonna, right now. Be, simply because of yeah. the fact that Corona's going around and people are gonna yeah, play everybody's going to be home playing. Everyone's going to be playing. So every every video game is literally winning right now. Yeah, right now. I, I've seen. I I haven't played it myself, but I've seen a lot of uh you know uh, footage of, of it. I I think they have a, some unique ideas in there. The gulag where the when you gulag. die, you go into the gulag and you have a chance to go back out after death if you win this 1v1 matchup i think that's really cool it's really intense it's yeah. a lot of like different factors all put into this battle royale so it's not just the battle royale but it's literally a 1v1 aspect of it yeah i think that's pretty cool and um, then each server has like 150 people dude that's a lot yeah and and the i mean how long do these matches you usually last <laughs> fuck dude all right on a regular br it's like fortnite apex any of these other ones PUBG. No, PUBG, I would say is the exception. PUBG does take a little bit longer. But these matches usually last, like, I won't say 25 to 35 minutes. Only God because, damn! Exactly. Like, the map is humongous. Like, the map is huge. The, the interiors of these buildings that are on this map are, like, very well done. They're not just, like, you know, windowless buildings with doors that don't open you can go in these room in these offices in these houses in these buildings and r- roam around collect loot and all that fun stuff so there is a lot to this game i uh supposedly they're going to continue working on it of course uh there's even rumors of it being up to 200 players at one point but right now it's 150 uh squads of three and you know last team that survives wins uh there's a lot of like like turnover in terms of like even if you die once or twice, you still have the ability to come back like a bunch of times. But yeah, I mean, yeah, and then mm-hmm. and then the other thing I like was the fact that uh, you could do side missions for yeah cash contracts. In, yeah, in, in, in turn, you can then uh, use to buy loadouts. You can buy abilities. So it, it's it's a lot in it, which I do like. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, do I do I think it's the best? Battle Royale, I don't know. I want to put my hand, I get get my hands on it, try mm-hmm. it out. I think it does have the ability to kind of push all these other guys to the side because Call of Duty. Yeah, because Call of Duty because of the name. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, right now it's the talk of the town, and uh, but you know, is it gonna hang around? That's that's something we've yet to see. So. And speaking of the talk of the town, Sony, Sony is uh, loosening up uh, their uh, their clutches on a certain uh, PS4 exclusive. Horizon Zero mm-hmm. Dawn is coming to PC, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, your thoughts on that being a Sony pony, Los? <laughs> um, I don't see any problem with it. Uh, I think uh, mm-hmm. this is a years old game. I mean, why not keep is it, making is money it not like of two it? years now? I think it came out. It's in two years. Uh, it's two years. It it's came out years. the same. It came out the same year as uh, Breath of the Wild, which is 2017. Oh, that's three, so three years. years. Oh shit. Three years. Um, so, but like I said, I mean, I don't. I think it's a good idea. Why not keep making money off of the game? Uh, mm-hmm. Put it on PC. I'm not against them do, putting games on PC day one. Uh, I think why not take advantage of the PC market uh, and put your game out side by side? Now, I, I think Sony's slowly moving that route. Uh, you know, uh, Death Stranding will be released on PC well, seven months after it's the, released on the thing on, about The thing Vegas. about Horizon Zero Dawn and Death Stranding, both of them are running the same engine. Both of them are mm-hmm. uh, coming, well, not coming exactly from Guerrilla, but it's pretty much products from Guerrilla, especially Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, they actually worked on it. The other one is a Kojima one. Um, yeah. This game probably was coming out regardless because of, uh, was it uh, Death Stranding coming to PC as well? Uh, I think I believe the head of uh, Sony was even asked about, oh, okay, so we're going to see more uh, of your games coming in a PC. And he said, no, 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 this isn't, this isn't uh, like, he doesn't want it to make it seem like it's going to be a trend now. Uh, he's, mm. still, he's still focused on exclusives. He's still focused I mean, to have people to stay and play on PlayStation and so on. I mean, this isn't like all that, to be honest. I mean, Xbox is the exact same thing with Halo. I mean, this is nothing new. This is just marketing and trying to get money from games that people liked and, mm-hmm. and are willing to buy in PC that haven't been available on PC. So I think this is not – I don't think it's a big deal for Sony. I think Sony just saw that, okay, Microsoft is getting no, money. No, I don't think it's a big we deal at all money. for Sony. But but you know how it is with a lot of people feeling that ownership for a console or, or the PC or, or a football team, basketball team, like this is mine, like now you're taking it away type of mentality. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that shit comes There's, into play in terms of the like the audience, not really as, as much as the vendor, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think there's a, a, a small minority who's really vocal saying, why is my game on PC? I want it on the PC, <laughs> it's losing its value, whatever. In, in the general space, the people that aren't really Keyboard warriors, they're, you know, like JP doesn't really care. And whoever the majority of PlayStation fans thinks is a good thing. So right. I, I think it's just a small minority making a, a, a lot of noise. But I, I think, like you said, uh, Kojima got the Decima engine running on PC. Mm-hmm. They're thinking, well, we got this game right here that runs on the Decima engine. And so it'll be really easy now to convert yeah. it because Kojima did it for us. So why not? put it out there and make some extra money. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and let's move on to the worst news in gaming. Uh, again, this is from March 11th or may everybody rest in peace that day. E3 2020 has been officially been canceled. canceled. Yeah. Uh, that same day, what? we also had, uh, what, a Corona officially a pandemic, I believe? Or was it Correct. Tuesday? It's officially a can- pandemic. Uh, well, anyways, pandemic. yeah. That day was horrible. I was like, like I understand it, I get it. Everybody wants to be safe on the safe side. Mm-hmm. Like I understand it. It's just it's still it still doesn't mean that it's not gonna suck. E three, yeah, go ahead. I feel like there's other ways of doing it. You can still present. You don't have to have a live audience. People will still fucking watch it on stream and fucking bug out regardless. Yeah. Um, I think that more than likely, look, everything comes down to money. If they see they're going to lose money. They're going to be like, you know what, let's just present. At the end of the day, E3 is a showcase for games, and people will continue to watch it. Just because Corona's around doesn't mean the internet's going to stop working. Mm-hmm. Um, you, know, you never know. Corona I think might that's evolve a, and start you know, attacking at the internet. I think this would have been a – like, man, that's a great point, JP. I think this would have great, been a great, uh, like, uh, time where E3 could have transitioned their stuff to mainly online. And you know what? E3 didn't take advantage of that. I think E3 is stuck in their old ways. They're slow to move with the times. People, you know, Sony's out. 
Nintendo's been doing a direct online for years. Everybody's following suit. I think this would have been a great opportunity for E3 to evolve and say, you know what, we're going to do things differently this year and do it, like uh, JP said, majority online. Um, I think either way you're going to see during that time uh, uh, streams and uh, videos come out for publishers either way. So they're instead of doing a, a stage presentation, which not everybody <clears throat> see, really does but, anymore. Let, let me say something on that, and that's a good point. Let's say the publishers do do that and they just present on their own. That's why E3 is stupid. If they find out that they can do better on their own, doesn't that affect E3 in the long run? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and mm-hmm. This mean, decision, I think, really, the, uh, everything that, if E3 doesn't do anything, I think that will play a big effect on next year E3. If all these publishers finally do their stream, see how much, uh, you know, pull they got for much, a lot less money, you know, I wouldn't be surprised seeing more people, more publishers, more developers drop out of next year. And now Correct. you really see E3 dying. If E3 doesn't change with the times, it, uh, it, it's, it's, I feel like it's going to be non-existent at some point. The, uh, well, the moment... Still think be... No, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, the moment I, I found out that E3 was canceled, I was... No lie, I felt like heartbreaking, broken because... Like, I always watch E3 before I even started streaming, before I even started the podcast. I was always watching it, always. I was always tweeting about it or Facebooking about it. I was always talking about it. I was yeah, always we, on it. We literally but went to a movie theater. We went to a movie theater to go see, like, one of the one of the and, presentations. And it was, and it was But let me tell you right now, I, I absolutely 1,000% hate everybody's like, oh, this is good. We get to see a bunch of fucking directs from everybody. Hell no. I don't want to see another fucking direct from fucking Microsoft, from fucking Nintendo again. Like, everybody's copying Nintendo, but Nintendo is his own fucking world. Like, don't copy Nintendo. Do your own fucking thing. No, I no, fucking no, no, no. I fucking hate the fact that they're, they're, everybody wants to go away from the conventions. You know why? Because the conventions are not for the big guys. They're for the smaller guys. The convention is not uh, one for the public, which E3 has been trying to evolve to make it seem like, hey, you know, let's all go. At, even if you're not in the industry, you can still come. The way they manage that part is where they fucked up. Uh, but... E3 is a trade show. E3 is supposed to be for developers, for people in the gaming industry, uh, people who reported, develop, and all that fun stuff. Uh, the smaller companies will not have the opportunities to be like, hey, uh, you work for Microsoft, right? Hey, uh, can I show you something really quick? Like, that shit's going to go away. Like, it, it's, I don't care like that, that it's canceled. Like, I get it. That's fine. I, I understand Corona is a bitch, you know? What I don't like is everybody's mindset of saying, yeah, this is good. Let's get rid of E3. Why? Like, do you not like everybody together? Like, do you not? No, do, no, you, no. do you want to see fucking, uh, do you know when the next direct is? I don't know. There's rumors. Do you know when the next state of play is? I don't know. There's rumors. Everybody knew June 11th or whatever the date was. You're always going to see something new. Not but, only from one, from one company, but from all of them. Like, but, I hate but, this. Is the, like, this is the trend now. What I would say this, Elias, is E3's fault. As, yeah. as Lowe said, you have to evolve. And That's you, what I'm saying. They try to evolve, but they're, they're fucking it up. Right now, this is a perfect time to bring all that. They still have time. No, you I know, still, but right now... still... Like, I know maybe you can't meet, but there's... Man, Technology-wise, this virtual. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, we're we're doing it now. We're each talking to each other. Mm-hmm. We're we're speaking to people. You can do this. You can. Set uh, but it up. are we are we gonna have another moment where Keanu comes on stage and somebody yells out, "Hey, you're breathtaking! Hey, you're breathtaking!" That shit's no. not gonna happen over the no, fucking directs. No. Of like that's not. what I'm saying. Like little moments like that are fucking exciting to me. Moments where the crowd gets into yeah. it are fucking exciting to me. Why do people like going to the stadiums and watching the football games, watching the basketball games? Would you rather stay at home and be on your couch by yourself watching it? No. You want to be in the crowd. You want to be a, in, the, in the in the energy. You know what I mean? No, like, I, I will that's say what this. I mean. As a, like E3 to me fan, has always felt like our nerdy Super Bowl, but like everybody just wants to be point. online. Like that's, that's what a fair it is. Point. That's a fair no. Look, point. I'm just as a fan. Of course, I want E3 to be successful. You're right. It's been one of our. It's, it's supplied some of the greatest memories in gaming, in history. You know when PlayStation said. You know, this is how we share games, and boom. Or when, uh, you know, Smash Brothers uh, Melee was revealed. I still mm-hmm. remember that. So it's, some, it's giving War. me some of my best. Yeah, it's giving me some of my. Yeah, man. I mean, it's giving me some of my best memories. The problem mm-hmm. is 
as a businessman. So as a fan, of course, I wanted to continue. But as a business, I don't work for Sony. Like you work if, for Sony. A, you work for Microsoft. I don't work suit, for those companies. Right? I don't give a fuck how much money they're wasting. I, I, they're going to get think, it back anyways when I, I buy their systems, I, when I buy their games, when I buy their controllers. I don't give a shit. I, we need to stop thinking about this. Like if we're fucking part of their companies, we're not. No, no. If, you, you, at you the end of the point. year, they get those big tax breaks and they're going to get their money back. They don't care. No, if they have to waste all that money. There. You are 100 percent right, Elias. But that's why I'm saying you have to find a medium. You, you can make it virtual. Virtual, but you can also make no, no, it. I, no, no, no. I, don't get me wrong. I understand it. This year, it's over. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. I understand it. But the fact that everybody now is like, hey, let's just keep it like this. Past Corona. Hey, uh, right now everybody's. I don't know in, about every, that. That's I don't what know I'm saying. That. That's what it sounds like. That's what I'm. That's what year, I'm getting the vibe true. from everyone. It's like let's keep it like this now. Everything's online. Let's not never see each other in person again. <laughs> I'm like, goddamn. Uh, uh, but I mean, but like the other uh, thing too. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, it's just a matter like these these companies are, you know, they're gonna see they can they can make them just as big yeah, as impact. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. The bigger and companies right, until can. Until E three, until E three evolves ones. for the better. Like if Gamescom, for example, has specific days mm -hmm. open dedicated to just the developers, dedicated to just the the companies, and, and E three doesn't do that. It just puts. Yeah, fans that's what I'm saying. They, they fucked up. They should have. They should have probably like followed like, that model too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, uh, so we'll, 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 look, see, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I think for this year, give it a shot, see how it goes. Look, in my honest opinion, as much as people are expecting for that virtual thing, there's mm -hmm. still that whole level of what you mentioned, Leah, of being together and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna come into play because. Sometimes I do want to go because, like, look, let's be honest. Sometimes I don't want to watch football. I don't even want to go to the stadium. It's too expensive. Um, mm -hmm. A beer is like twelve dollars. I can literally buy two, <laughs> you know, all that shit and just drink it at home. But uh, I think that the experience is well. People are gonna draw people. Experience yeah. always draws people. So I think they'll, they'll be winning at the game. Uh, somebody's mic is like someone's bringing into the mic a little no, too no, hard. That's me. Don't worry about that. <laughs> all right. It's my fan. It's hot up here. Cold war. Yeah, fuck E3. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right, hey, right. look, hey, look, any final been... thoughts, guys, on E3? Uh, um, I think this is a season that uh, our the people who wish for this to occur is going to occur. We'll see how it turns out. Lowe's? Well, I mean, it's yet to see. We'll, we won't know until next year on who continues to do it, who yeah. doesn't. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if more companies pull out. Um, this year for sure is going to help out a lot of companies who've been probably trying to transition to doing something like that, like have all their media uh, online only like the presentations. So a lot of people are going to use this as a, as a way out, save some money and see, test, test the waters on having it online only, have their own versions of direct. I do see that this year, uh, if they're successful, probably they're going to keep doing it. And then again, we'll be back here in a couple of years and be like, I'm tired of everybody doing the same thing, direct. Blah, blah. I don't know. You know how it is, though. But uh, <laughs> let's move on to our next uh, top, uh, section, sports. It's a home run. <laughs> oh wait no wait no 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 there's no goal. There's no touchdown. It's all canceled, ladies and gentlemen. NBA <laughs> postponed. Uh, what what else? NHL postponed. MLB postponed. Oh, well, like, well, let, let, let's be, let's start from the beginning. Uh, so um, it's NBA all canceled. Start, yes, they're all canceled. <laughs> so NBA was the first one to cancel. The reason NBA wow. canceled. Wow. Was, NBA was, was like the worst one. <laughs> yeah, no, no, because what? you're you're right there mid season. People, players are starting to get infected. We started with Rudy Gobert. Well, and, let, let, uh, that's what I'm saying. They, they started off by separating the reporters from from the players uh, as a precautionary step. One of the dumbass players, his name is Rudy Gobert, who plays for the Utah Jazz. Like I said, a dumbass player. Um, goes around touching everything, and he's, like, making fun of it. And he turns out that he has coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, uh, um, he tests positive. They're playing a game, Utah Jazz versus Thunder. They're about to play the game. The doctor comes out running like, stop, stop. This motherfucker here has corona. <laughs> and then they're like, corona? Ah, oh, you dirty motherfuckers. And then they separate the game. They stop the game and quarantine the players. Turns out another star player, Donovan Mitchell, Donovan has, Mitchell. has corona. corona. Next thing you know, they're like, fuck this. We're shutting this shit down. They shut the whole fucking season. They suspended. Notice they say suspended. They didn't say canceled. Yeah, uh, they postponed everything. Notice. Yeah. So, um, so uh, have we have we heard any like indication of what they're gonna do? Um, as far as 
Like, uh, what are they gonna do well, with the season? How are they gonna? They're do they're thinking with? about. We don't know. They're, they're thinking by. They're hoping by July everything is settled and start the season up in July, uh, and then carry it over. I I think it's gonna be a little bit weird because the NCAA. Uh, once, like every sport started taking, you know, the, M- the NBA's lead, uh, NFL said they had no, no further. They weren't even going to do spring training and none of that. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, once NFL cancels their season, if that happens, which I highly doubt it, we could be in the biggest pandemic in the world. NFL will not cancel their games. If they do, I, that's where I'm like, okay, because NFL owners, they don't give a shit about nobody. They just want to make money. So if these fools cancel the season, if these fools cancel the season, that's where I'm like, okay, this shit is serious. Now we're being serious. Motherfucker, that's all the way into fucking August. Calm down. The point is, the point is <laughs> that, um, you know, they took the lead. A lot of sports, NCAA was still playing. They were literally still playing uh, with their college players without any fans, of course. Turns out that they closed everything down and they didn't just suspend, they canceled the season. Um, so I feel bad for all those players trying to, you know, yeah, get those are college kids. They're probably not, yeah. some of them are seniors and this is going to be the last opportunity to uh, play in these games. Yeah, so that's terrible. That sucks. So, you know, you know, shout out to them. I hope they feel better. I, I mean, it's nothing. I don't think they did it on. Uh, they, they weren't trying to close, Elias. They really weren't. But so that happened. No, I mean, I, like I said, a lot of things that are happening, it fucking sucks, but it's a necessary thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Soccer, soccer worldwide. I mean, I don't know why, you know, worldwide. No, I think stopped. soccer, they're playing games, but no. they're, they're playing in closed stadiums. Right. Yeah, you got you got some like in Spain, for example, yeah. you got teams playing in crowdless stadiums. Yeah. So there's no crowds. There's no. They're just kind of playing against each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just yeah, the players interacting with each other, not actually interacting with any crowds. Is being televised here in the U uh, in the U.S. Um, the MLS season has been postponed, so mm-hmm. the games aren't even being played here in the U.S. But other countries are taking you know. Uh, their measures as they see fit. Mm-hmm. Um, MLB has not been postponed. Well, canceled. It's only the spring training, which is basically the month of yeah. March, has been canceled. The 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 season is supposed to start at the end of March. I think they're waiting to see how everything plays out before they decide on that. On that. Yeah. But uh, I mean, that's up and coming. So I feel like MLB is going to be affected. Um, but yeah, I mean, yet to see what happens with that is crazy, man. I mean, uh, yeah. When that's where I think where I start taking taking things more seriously, because once these millionaires, billionaires start lose, you know, uh, uh, you know, willfully losing money, that's where I'm like, okay, this shit is serious. Well, I mean, check this out. Uh, not only are they losing money, ESPN is losing money too. Yeah, what the uh, hell are they gonna Fox, show? <laughs> I mean, they're they're still gonna Online air the poker? show. <laughs> Dude, like, like, think about it. Think about how many companies are losing money, and you know it's not just those sh- those sports. It's also the shows, the sports talk shows. You got undisputed. You have, uh, 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 of course, you have a first. No, look at the economy. I mean, I know we're not an economist podcast, but I mean, the economy has been tanking. Uh, they're putting one point five trillion dollars. we're in a great place. That, that came out of nowhere all of a sudden. But anyways, uh, they're put, they're injecting money into the uh, economy, so. Everyone's every company's suffering, man. I, I I don't know if you're receiving emails from like these. Maybe I'm favor, I'm, I'm like bro. I, yeah. I'm getting emails like, from DoorDash, uh, this this card company Donald. that I that I used to buy uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards from. What we're I, doing with COVID nineteen? Uh, what else? There was another one that sent me one. Fuck, I forgot who it was. My bank. Uh, Chick Fil A. Yeah. Nah, They're Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A probably the started this shit. <laughs> this is the steps we're taking with COVID nineteen. Yeah, like, I'm getting okay, a lot of emails bro, like that. <laughs> I mean, look, uh, I, I'm sorry because there's not much sports uh, to watch unless you like poker, um, and I don't, or chess. Uh, or checkers. Poker, son. But uh, video games is up, guys. Woo! All right. We well, still got that. Since our sports section has been canceled, we're going to go ahead and leave that right there. Uh, <laughs> let's move on into our last section, pop culture. Pop Damn it! All right. Well, yeah, well, so uh, if you if you that. haven't heard, uh, coronavirus has been doing a number not only in sports, not only in video games, but also but in pop culture paper. and toilet paper. What the fuck is it with the toilet paper? But anyways, movie delays. Uh, we have movie delays for days, ladies and gentlemen. There is gonna be no fun whatsoever. Corona's I mean, canceling everything. It's uh, a lot. 
The New Mutants delayed. Disney's Mulan delayed. Fast and the Fast and the Furious is delayed for a fucking year. They Why? Should delay that shit for life. They should delay Why? That shit for life. Like what the hell? They ha they're gonna wait an entire year. That's kind of that's how we're doing it. Uh, 007. Delayed. 007. Of course, we talked about that and A Quiet Place too. Oh, no. and, and it's not just them. No. It's not just them. <laughs> Netflix, a Stranger Things delayed. Yep. Uh, Disney Plus shows delayed. A lot of Netflix shows delayed. Hulu shows delayed. Like it's, it's. Uh, yeah, especially those those shows that are still in filming. Film. Yeah, stage. still in production. Yeah. Like, yeah, still in production. You know, they're having to cut production. For, you know, for the safety of, of their employees, and so that means. We're we're not we're seeing delays on on those. Hey, look, guys, previously I, planned yeah. release dates. If we are quarantined, I mean, I can watch anime all day. Friends, yeah, there's a lot of things I need office, to catch up on. Uh, you just, know, uh, just Brooklyn Nine -Nine. also let me stop right there and just say, ladies and gentlemen, please don't b go to the stores and buy in bulk. You don't need all yeah. that stuff, bro. Like, there's other people that need it. Stop. Stop yeah. taking all the toilet paper. Stop taking all the water. I couldn't find any <laughs> eggs today. I couldn't find any chicken. No. I no want some chicken. chicken. Dang. Uh, well, yeah. HCB said that they're going to continue to provide, and they're going to start filling things up by the end of the week, starting Sunday. Yeah. They're going to be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah, a now. lot of stores are still filling up, but uh, they are, like, uh, doing it in a, a slower process. I mean, it's not only them that's slowing down, but, I mean, not slowing down, but their products, you know, it comes from somewhere and of course because of the virus shit doesn't get delayed so they're getting everything they can uh i was just at uh randall's today trying to get some because well actually i was trying to go to costco today and we were like all right let's go in the first thing in the morning you know early before they even open and let's see if we can catch you know the store opening before anybody else gets there by the time i got there bro the line was around the block i was like Fuck. <laughs> but uh yeah. yeah we went to randall's and uh we got some of the, some of the stuff we needed i mean this randall's is kind of like uh it's kind of like hidden in a way and we were able to get the stuff we needed and the guy in there also mentioned That's like good, hey man. hey we're gonna get some more stuff tomorrow like it, there's no like yeah. reason to panic it's okay i think uh you know like for example uh, my grandma she didn't have water uh, yeah. She couldn't get water, so I had to like see if she had water. Luckily, she, someone was willing to buy water for her, take it. So now I'm like, I have to take her to the grocery store. She doesn't live that far, but we start taking care of our elder guys. Not only that, um, mm -hmm. you know, looking at the way things are. Yeah, wash your ass and your hands. Um, <laughs> and uh, I mean, look, honestly, you know, hopefully this doesn't last long, but it looks like it'll be two to three months at least, the minimum. Um, from what I'm seeing here, this is just me in my opinion. Uh, the way people are acting or overreacting. You mean you're not um, a doctor, a scientist? Um, I'm not a doctor, or scientist, but I am a G. And uh, so what I can tell you is that this motherfucker shit's gonna last about two to three months. All right. Um, uh, well, anyways, let's move on from the movie delays. Houston Rodeo. Look, I, I honestly, okay, Houston Rodeo is one of the biggest like rodeos. Yeah, in people the world. don't know. It's if you're not huge. from Houston, if yeah. You're not from Houston, I told I told this one guy I was watching him stream. I'm like, man, I just found out the Houston Rodeo was canceled. Like, rodeo, you like this stuff? I'm like, bro, you don't understand. Like, they fill up these stadiums with like seventy thousand plus people. There's a a, a fairgrounds that's huge. Food. There's food everywhere. Like, this thing is always packed. Tickets are always hard to get. Like, don't underestimate. Like if you're not from here, you probably don't understand. But I'm telling you right now, it's. I was shocked that they canceled the rodeo. I was That's hella like, no, shocked. I couldn't believe it. I literally thought they were never going to cancel ass, this. Fucking, and then, <laughs> your fucking flies. I didn't Wash think they ass. were going to do it, but there's they one did bothering it. me, bro. Oh Nasty God. motherfucker. Yeah, take a shower. Oh, damn. Take a shower. <laughs> oh my god. But anyways, anyways, what are you guys' thoughts on uh the rodeo? Uh, I think that this should have been closed a long time ago, but uh, they were like, no, we want money. And all these dumbass motherfuckers like Carlos, we want to get drunk. So they did the cook-off, and then someone went to the cook-off and had coronavirus. So they don't know how many people are spread. Are spread. Not only that, now it gets even better. Then they opened up the public to the public, like everything else, like uh, in the fairgrounds and things like that. Three people went with coronavirus. Yeah. So you, if you if you were from Houston, you understand the amount of large crowds, and you breathe this in. Do you know how many kids, how many fucking adults were walking around there? That's why yeah. when I heard about this, I was like, nope, I ain't going. And guess what? I did, didn't go, and I don't have corona as of yet. As of yet. <laughs> 
I did go to the hood and eat Popeyes. Right there on Irvington and 45, and I didn't feel good afterwards. So you know. um, I I did uh I, I was planning to go to the rodeo. Uh, Cause you're a dumbass. I like bought, I said, I hadn't bought tickets. Uh, see? See? Okay. Uh, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't end up buying it. It got canceled before I could buy tickets. Yay! It's a shame. The rodeo. The rodeo is such a good time. Um, yeah, it it's is. really fun to go. Uh, it's you know, yearly tradition, but I think it's the right mm -hmm. step. I mean, that's too many yeah. people all in once next to each other. It's a you lot get one person who's, who's infected and that could turn into a lot more. So it's stinky, uh, sweaty. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised. People. I wouldn't be surprised if that, uh, uh, cook off, which is the first weekend of the rodeo. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that spread a couple of times. Cause no, that, uh, they already uh, said it. That one of the sheriffs had coronavirus. And he walked yeah. All I know that. Yeah, I know, exactly. And so that's what I'm saying. I, I, I mean, they haven't really pinpointed if or who it, it, it was transmitted to someone. But, you, you know, you're pretty sure it was. So, uh, yeah, man, I mean, it's just a matter of uh, everybody just staying out of large uh, out of large uh, no, functions. You know yeah. look, look, look. Everyone's right here. It's like, oh, St. Patty's Day. We're going to go to Lefty's oh, no, Day. Like, that's fucking moron. Too. They're fucking, they're, no, <laughs> they're still that. going. They're, oh, let's go to Capital Bar. Like stupid fucks, okay, and I'm like, yeah, you guys are just All asking right, that's, for that's it. That's Darwinism, man. Let, let them guys, go. Guys, let them just go. <laughs> stay, just stay home. Relax. Look, there's a there's a lot of people too on I see on Twitter that are like, basically like hammering down like, hey, why are you doing this? Don't do this. Don't do that. Uh, he, they're putting out the facts of what's going on with Corona. I'm like, you have you have to understand too. People are gonna still do what you, they want to do regardless of what you tell them. People so, are dumbasses. So, yeah. All you can do is put out the facts, put out the information, let them absorb it. If they don't want to use it, that's on them. I don't know what to They're tell you. They're grown adults. They're grown, They're ass grown people. fucking yeah. adults. Uh, my parents were planning on going to the UK, even though everything else is banned, and they were going to go to the UK. And because my sister was like, oh, I'm going to go and I don't care. And I was telling my parents, let her dumbass go. Yeah, let her go. She gets sick, <laughs> let her dumbass adult. go. You guys need to stay your ass here. And luckily they canceled the trip, and then of course the president was like, "No, UK is closed." And then no, my sister was like, open. Oh. You're, "No, no, 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 no! It's it's very restricted on where they can go." And even then, uh, uh, they I already think, closed down a UK, lot of shit. I over think there. UK was exempt. I saw that. I'm, I'm trying no, they to, were, but not, not uh, anymore. But anyways, I'm trying to buy uh, cheap ass Hawaii oh, tickets, man. Hey, Hawaii is cheap. No right lie, now, no trip. lie. My girlfriend and I have been like looking at plane tickets, and we're like, "Look, they're super cheap." Let's just buy them, put the insurance on them, and if this shit doesn't go away, we'll just cancel them and get our money back. I mean, really, why not? I mean, I'm going to lose like Hawaii, $20? Bro. I mean, I'm hey. hey not, look, not I don't want to go to Hawaii. Right now, like a plane ticket to Vegas in September is like 30 bucks. Hey, hey yeah, feel free to go. I mean, power to y'all. Uh, I'm going to stay home. Staying home. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm, Which, I'm waiting for the corona to be over. That's what I'm saying. These are plane tickets in September, fool. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try to look for, for plane tickets to <laughs> go to Canada in December. Well, that's Sorry, what I'm saying. Bad. You gotta you gotta look right now while they're still yeah. cheap. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on to our last uh, uh, topic here, porn sites. <laughs> porn sites are here to the rescue. Everybody's under quarantine, especially Italy. They're like. Locked down. There's nobody outside. Say your ass indoors. Uh, well, obviously, porn sites have seen a spike, a rise <laughs> of uh, viewership. Uh, on top of that, uh, I believe porn sites uh, not sponsored by Pornhub have actually unlocked their premium areas with 4K, I believe, HD quality to people in, uh, who've been affected by the quarantine. In yeah, so... So uh, yeah, they've uh, give they've made their premium stuff for free over at Italy uh, just to you know help them out. Like it, it's funny that Pornhub is one of the most you know giving back to the community <laughs> internet sites out there. But every time there's like a disaster or something, like Pornhub is making their stuff free because there's nothing. Yeah. Just another there's nothing else there's to do. nothing better. There's nothing better than to jack off during a bad time. <laughs> just you're, you're making it bad time. Yeah, so uh, so shout out to Pornhub man doing yeah. the, the people's work and uh, yeah. you know making sure that people are feeling a little Ass bit better. Ass in tennis for everybody. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you want ass in tennis? You want ass in tennis? I think, I think there, was a, there was another site too. I don't remember it, but I just remember seeing the headline for Pornhub. I was like, oh lord. 
Hey, man. <laughs> Pornhub, make, make it free in the United States. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, do you guys have... Uh, okay, well, let's say for our topics. Do you guys have any final punches? Anything you want yeah, to talk guys, about? Anything you've been playing? Um, since we're going to be in quarantine soon, uh, I expect some of y'all motherfuckers to hop on Destiny 2. Oh, Charles of Osiris is out. I need <laughs> Clamis. I need two more people. Uh, not only that, we already know Resident Evil Trey is about to come out. Expected to be one of the best sold games of all year. It may be the game of the year. And it's probably going to be so badass that it might be due to Corona Ryan and Cyberpunk comes out earlier because, hell, a lot of people are staying indoors and working on it. Mm-hmm. You never know. Animal Crossing oh, is five less six, than a week away. That. Five days away, uh, when this is out, I cannot wait. I am so close to having Animal Crossing in my hands and just getting to build my town. And <laughs> like I'm so ready. Oh, a bunch of Shakiras. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I'm ready, man. Uh, I, I'm ready. Well, I still have a giveaway going on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it ain't. It ends March 20th. If you're interested at all, check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash JRX4X, and my YouTube channel, JRX4. Uh, for all details, no purchase necessary. You know what I mean? I'm a, Dude, there's like nobody entering. Nobody wants to win Doom Eternal. Nobody wants. I should have fucking put Animal Crossing. Fucking nerds. But anyways, uh, been playing a lot hey, of Warzone. It's been okay. I'm down. I'm down to win Doom, Doom Eternal. Oh, my God. Give, well, you got to be, me. You gotta be a follower at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I've been playing Warzone. That's been okay. Uh, I'm trying to get my win. It's freaking hard. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, stay safe. Uh, wash your stay hands. Stay safe, uh, Don't cough in front of anybody. Wash don't your anybody ass hands. and wash Travel with your German. fucking hands. Uh, and be clean. Wash, your, wash everything. Clean. Peace. Bye-bye. What the fuck? All right.